Before he went deaf, seems like a million years ago. He was a very uh, special little boy, a real vivacious, very sociable. After he went deaf, he was very withdrawn and felt like kids were picking on him. He'd get the wrong impression because he couldn't hear them. It was, it was, he was so visual that he didn't realize they weren't picking on him or saying bad things about him, but he would get that impression. After the implant, he, he still was withdrawn. He didn't, he didn't understand the benefits of it. He knew he was going to hear. But after, as soon as he got out of surgery, he told me, well, I can't hear. And I remember that day, I didn't get nothing to eat. Now they moved me to a different place, and now I got something to eat. And how did you feel when you woke up and you had an implant? And I got an implant, but I didn't know how to heal at the hospital. Why not? I don't know. But regardless, I think there was a major sense of disappointment in Casey that it was an instant hearing the way he remembered it. So he wasn't real eager to try listening again. It was uh, another struggle with him. Not that he was uh, resistant as much as he was just sort of depressed about the whole thing. After the implant, Casey's speech deteriorated even more. Um, and Jack and I thought, have we done the right thing? Why isn't this working? It, his speech has gotten worse. We asked everybody that question, and it's like nobody knew. And then about May, so maybe three or four months into the implant time, uh, he started to have a few little successes, and things started to become uh, decipherable. He started to find some, um, um, he was able to start discriminating things, and his, his guesswork was working. And he was starting to use context to work out the appropriate word for that sentence. And he was very excited the first couple times. He really got something that nobody expected him to get. And it was kind of like, I heard that. Casey is a really fun little kid to teach. He is a very happy little boy these days. He's charming, he's creative, uh, he likes people. That's the one. What do you call that? That's called a diver. A diver? This person is a diver. But that's a different kind of suit. A different kind of diving suit, yeah. Casey is on grade level in all his academic areas. He's on first grade level in math, reading, and yeah. social studies. And they cook the fish. And they cook the fish. Okay, so that's not just for fun. That's no, a job. that's a job. Okay, I have another one in here I really want you to see. And then we're going to stop. Let me see the shark. Not yet. Since Casey was the first young child in North America to receive the 22-channel implant, we were really interested in his thresholds. His unaided responses haven't changed since he had meningitis, which wiped out his hearing except for a vibrotactile response at 250 hertz. He has no aided responses, but the implant brings all of his responses up into the speech range. Casey's personality has really gotten back to normal, actually, before his hearing loss. He's just Casey again. One big difference I've noticed in the last few months also is you don't have to make sure that he's facing you when you're talking with him. The was always hungry. He kept eating and eating and eating until all the food was gone. What happened? And I got fat. Now everybody's crying. Well, they're crying because why? What because happened? What did he do? He ate nothing to eat. He ate all the food. Today in the carnival, uh, we had a little booth that the kids were running, throwing, they were helping other children throw balloons at pictures of the teachers. And when it was to Casey's turn to take over, we hadn't memorized any language to use. We hadn't memorized any sequence exactly. We'd never done this before. And he'd watched other kids do it, but when it was his turn to do it, he figured out what the, what the shtick was. He figured out what his role in that little booth was. And he just took over. He did it very naturally. He listened for input from me. But his interactions with the little kids and the big kids, 
he was in charge, and he was very controlled, and he was very poised, and he had a lot of fun. <laughs> Say Jenny. 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 Come by. Get a prize. Come by. <laughs> Say yeah. Get her a prize. Tell her. Tell her what to do. So you can have you can have one prize. Get one prize. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't hit me in the balloon. <laughs> okay, who's next? Casey is, when he goes out to play, is like any other rambunctious little boy. He just likes playing with all the kids. He loves the kids in the neighborhood, and he has a real good time with them. What's that? Bone. What kind? Is that a face? Dinosaur bone. Um, buffalo. It is a buffalo? Yeah, look! Mm -hmm. Before Casey had his implant, or before he was using his whatever audition the implant was giving him, he uh, didn't go up to people and interact with them. He kind of avoided that, and he'd ask one of us to take care of it for him, or he just wouldn't participate in the activity. Do you need help finding a card? I'm being the card for my mom. Okay, is it her birthday? What? Is it her birthday? No, I was buying something for her. Oh, okay. Well, does she like cats? And now, in the last, oh, six weeks, two months, he initiates that himself. When he sees something he wanna co wants to comment on, he goes up to people. He'll ask them uh, something. He'll clarify information he's confused about. He'll make a, a very appropriate comment to someone. She, she likes dogs. She likes dogs. It seems to me that he's already gone through three major stages in his life, apart from normal child development. The three stages I'm thinking about are the, the first five years of his life as a normal, hearing, healthy little boy with normal family life, and a whole year of sensory deprivation and confusion and isolation, and now a slow rebirth, a slow regrowth, a slow uh, coming back into himself and finding himself again. And in a way, it's, there's a part of him that even enjoys hearing more. Casey's gonna be whatever he wants to be. He's very self-assured, he's very self-confident. He's back to his normal self, and I don't think he's gonna have a problem achieving anything he wants to achieve. He has that.